So this old dung beetle posted another video again about Chantel. He just won't leave her alone. Mind you, she has two people going at her. Okay, and they expect her to just not say anything. Well, anyways, let's watch. Folks, Reverend Jason William Egroff here. Sorry, y'all. I had to zoom in real quick. Look how dirty that floor is. Shanny, girl, you better get in there and get to scrubbing them floors. And uh, as you can see, I got myself a little set up here. And uh, yes, I, I do have a gig. It's an online job. I don't get paid too, too much. But uh, praise Jesus. Uh, I have some income now. Praise. Yeah, you guys got YouTube money. God. It's something. So I was able to get myself a little desktop set up for real che cheap on Amazon. And I got myself uh, a... It's all cheap stuff. The stuff that you see, this mic was 30 bucks. My webcam I got was 20 I don't know why they're so embarrassed to say they're making money off YouTube. That they got the pin and that they got paid. It's not a big deal, Jason. Five. Um, and I got an entire system on Amazon for less than 200 bucks. It was 168 bucks. So I finally can actually do content and not from that crappy tablet. You know, that tablet was such a piece of shit. It, I, I was lucky I was able to upload anything. So I got a little bit of a thing here to talk to you about. If you think Foodie Beauty at all is a good person or ever has been, I need you to look at this post she made. Now, she always likes to delete things. You know, you never trust a person that goes back and forth and with people and aren't willing to show their own, leave their own activities up for people to see. But thankfully, God bless reaction channels because they have the evidence. This is from a channel called Piggy. Okay, their videos could be pretty funny because they do this voice over to Chantal's voice. where Her voice is just so annoying to me now. They do this, this comedic voice over hers and it's really, it's hilarious actually. So that's this channel, Piggy. Um, so go sub to Piggy. Okay, she made this post, and like a coward, again, deletes it. Why? Because she always wants to look like this pious, wonderful, religious Muslim woman, which could not... And you and Shani don't do that? You guys are both always claiming to be Christ-like, yet you are disgusting. ...be further from the truth. This woman put a hijab on and called herself a Muslim for the sake of a dick. She wanted to go like this to Natter because she was totally in love with that guy and he didn't even want to be her boyfriend. Okay? But this woman is so dishonest and hurtful, she shames disabled people. I want to give a shout out to, oh man, what is it? The Fat Cow Chronicles. This is another channel. I think I, I could uh, link you the two channels here in the description below. I want you to look at her couple last videos that she made because this woman suffers from a very similar situation that Shannon goes through. Now, me and Shanny might be separated, but I've tried to make it as... So it seems like Shanny's trying to be buddy-buddy with this channel now, whoever they're looking at, whoever's channel that is, because of similarities. But one thing Shanny don't like, she gonna throw shots at you, so be careful. Clear as I can to you guys that I love her still with all my heart. 
The reason we are apart are due to circumstances um, that hopefully someday will be rectified, but it's hard to see that happening anytime soon. Because people on the internet that have our, their, their intentions are to destroy our lives. And it's been this way for quite some time. And, and it just got to the point where after you guys destroyed the job that I had taking care of her, after you did that, I just couldn't do this anymore. I couldn't do it. And also... I'm Nobody destroyed your job, Jason. You have child abuse and domestic violence on your record. So I'm sure the job did a background check and you failed. On her end, you know, I, I go through psychosis. I go, I'm not a, I go through things, okay? That's what I'm going to say. I go through things. And she needed a break. But I want you to understand 100% that I love this woman and I always will. So when I see this, you're going to hear about it from me, you fucking piece of shit woman. I don't even like to call you a woman. You give women a bad name, Chantal. Says the child abuser and woman abuser. Okay, Jason. Do you realize how much we supported you and the flack we took for you? Because your, your best friend, quote-unquote, Shannon, another Shannon, isn't that funny? She was right about you 100%. And all these people that have been talking about you for all these years are a billion percent correct about your character. You have no character. And everybody that's talked about you and Shani was right about both of you as well. And they come with proof. Proof from your own mouth at that. I can't help myself. I'm, this is a quote, okay? from one of her community posts that, like a coward, she deleted. She does this all the time. She acts like a disgusting piece of trash, probably when she's taken, illegally taking marijuana in Kuwait. You hear that? Are you doing Delta 8? What are you doing, Chantal? You're definitely taking shit. It's very illegal over there because it Sounds like Jason's being a little snitch right now. He's trying to... Get someone to get her in trouble. It's very haram. I can't help myself. I mean, Shani, you can post all the photos from your OF in 2020 all you want, but this is how you look now. I'm going to stop right there. Are you talking about the picture that she posted on her community post of, uh, I'm pretty sure it's my hand grabbing her boob. Um, uh, it might be her own hand, but it looks like my hand. I'm pretty sure it was mine. But anyway, you're talking about that picture, right? That is not from 2020. It's much more recent. I saw some of the comments on the, on, the, on the picture, and I'm like, what are they talking about? That is not that old of a picture. It's not. You are huge. Excuse me? Excuse me? You're going to call Shani huge. Chant Chantal, you're like five foot one, and probably much closer to 400 pounds than you want to admit. Yeah, Shani's big, but you know how tall Shani is? She's 5'11". So Shani is gigantic width and length. She's a big old bitch. She's a tall woman, so she can handle more weight. The weight that you have on you because you're 5'1", you're, you have no feminine shape. Your shape is literally like the capital D. Yeah, and that big old gigantic tall ass woman you got is the shape of a capital B. So now what? She's fucking twice as big as Chantel. It's just true. You want you want you put you when you are on camera, your face takes up the whole screen. You are you have Oh my gosh. And so does Shanny's. Shanny has to zoom all the fuck way out. So her fucking big ass wide body can fit in the camera. A bucket head. You are huge. Look in the mirror, Chantal. You can't walk to a store. How do you okay, so Chantel's 5'1", maybe 350 pounds. Shani's 5'11", 600 pounds. How do you know she can't walk to a store? When we were in Colorado... We were walking through the streets of Philadelphia, or sorry, through the streets of Denver. And she did a damn good job, and I was really... Oh, you were really proud of her for walking. You sound like an idiot. 
that was probably what a couple years ago all she's done since a couple years ago is sit and eat proud of her because she deals with massive massive mobility problems not because of eating herself deliberately into the state she's in that's yeah it is home. All the years I was with Shani, the portions she ate, I was always like, how is she bigger like this? You know her big ass was eating little Debbie's in the bathtub, in the bathroom, while sitting on the toilet, even. Her big ass was eating a lot, and you know it. Quit playing dumb. Because she doesn't eat that much. You want to know why, Chantal, you piece of shit? Because she has legitimate health conditions. Because she's overeating. Confirmed by doctors. And at this point, the government, because she got certified to get, she could go to a nursing home. Now, that's how sick she is. But of course, you, you shame the disabled, Chantal. You're disgusting. You can't wipe yourself. Folks, do you see this? This piece of trash woman that's huge just because she eats herself to being huge. No other reason. Is, is making fun of a disabled woman. Just like the trolls. Chantal, you are... Shani is not disabled. She can't walk because she's so huge. She can't even fit in a car. What are you talking about? No different than the hateful ass piece of shit trolls that are evil as shit. You're no different at all. You're the same. You and your corpse of a boyfriend have done several mukbangs yourselves. What does that have to do with anything? That we did mukbangs. You call me a corpse? Yeah, sh yeah. Is that a corpse physique? Yeah, it is. And you were, too. You like to make fun of Natter, too, right? Because he's a smaller stature man, but he has muscles. You loved his body, Chantal. You like bodies like this corpse of a boyfriend huh <laughs> he's so mad by that that was funny he is pissed with that you drink lots of sodies and neglect your hygiene which is why you only have two teeth left wrong shanny most of the time smells like strawberries and coconut bull crap you said so yourself that she smelled like ammonia that her piss smelled like ammonia and I'm sure she smells like shit, like literal shit and fish. And if there's any sign that there's a smell coming, she's immediately taking care of it in the shower or at, at, at the sink or whatever. So Shani bathes in a sink. So she doesn't even wash properly. Yeah, she fucking stinks. You're the one that's confirmed by Pete's to smell like old cheese. You neglect your hygiene. Everything I've learned this and the reaction. I just wanted to say this really quick. Jason, you did Shani no favors. You just, the more you talk, the more you tell, and you made her look even worse. Just so you know. And channels are correct. Everything you say is projection. You do it. You're that way. And the reason she only has, she's, her teeth are rotting out. Chantal, piece of trash, human. The reason that her teeth are falling out is because she has soft bones. Oh, of course there's a reason for it. Not because not cause it's bad hygiene, but there's another medical reason for her rotted ass teeth that she does not brush or take care of to be falling out. There's another excuse. It runs in her family. And people that have teeth like that, that are soft, they can just rot out of your head. Again, you're making fun of the disabled. You have no room to talk about my weight or eating habits. Actually, she can. You know why? Because she doesn't binge eat. She doesn't. Yes, she does, Jason. Whether you want to admit it or not, she does. And apparently you do too, because Shani said you're the binge eater. She doesn't binge eat at all. She never has. 
her diet is very reasonable. It's because of the other health conditions she has that it holds weight. Once again, that's again, every sentence here is shaming disabled people. Did Salat tell you to take this down? Probably did. Because you look so horrible and disgusting. You can think I reverted for all the wrong reasons, but at least Salah and I don't spew gospel in the name of Jesus and sound like psychotic, psychotic televangelists, LOL. You think this is funny? Do you remember why she got so mad, Chantal? Why did she get so mad? Because all she did was post facts from Google about you should spay your cat, and you still haven't because you're that fucking lazy. Well, why don't you and Shani go clean your floors? Why do they look like that? They're disgusting. It's because you guys are lazy. People called. You know that people called the vet that's in Kuwait and asked, well, is this an issue? The vaccines and spading? And they said, no, there's no issue at all. The cat can get spayed whenever. You're a liar for the sake of being a just disgusting, lazy freak. The only thing you think about is your next meal, and it's pathetic. Shani got really mad because of your words about her children. You constantly come after people with children, constantly. Why? Because you killed your kids. Do y'all hear what he just said? Jason, and guess what? You almost killed Shani's kid, but thankfully they got taken out of your care because you would have. I'm safe from everything with kids because you killed your kids. I would not want to be you on Judgment Day. You sound insane sitting on your high horse criticizing anything I do because I can do a lot more than you while you sit around waiting for Ozempic to save your pathetic life, Chantal. There is nobody more pathetic than you. You can't hold a candle to Shannon Dornbush. And we both know that when it comes to inspiration of how to be on the internet and how to have a personality, you even got a tattoo in the same spot that Shani does. That's how pathetic, no personality you are. You want to go judging people? I got news for you. The worst, though, is making fun of the disabled. Look in the mirror and understand how disgusting you are. Peace and Maranatha. Well, there's that. Jason, you did Shani no favors. Like I said, you made her look worse. We already knew she was dirty and nasty, but you confirmed it yet again. Anyways, see y'all later.